the uh, the flip into the end zone. Regret that a little bit uh, in hindsight. Uh, yeah, um, I talked to coach about it. It was a selfish thing on my part to to do something like that and jeopardize the team and uh, put us in a position where we we set ourselves back. So we talked about it on the sideline, and I know better. I'm older. I shouldn't do things like that. Uh, so we talked about it, and it was some selfish that I did that I definitely regret. But uh, I'm gonna stay positive and keep moving forward. Can you talk about the health status of your secondary and just how it must feel to you guys like every few minutes another guy goes out? Uh, I mean, it's a bit frustrating, but as, as a team, we got to stay positive and dismiss everything that, that's going on as far as health. Uh, it's something that we could definitely use. Our, our, our DBs that are down, we could use them right now, but some younger guys, we're giving them the opportunity to step up and make plays. So we just got to stay on it and, and keep with it. I mean, we can't can't get the guys back now, so we got to continue to progress. When you see guys go down, I mean, it started with Logan being out, having to retire, and then guys going down during the game. Is it hard to kind of keep your focus, and especially to kind of keep the younger players focused, knowing that they're being pushed into roles that maybe they might not have thought they'd be pushed into at the beginning of the year? Uh, yeah, it's easy for people to lose focus, but constantly we preach stay focused and stay together and, and focus on your job. So. It's something that we don't like to say that it's a reason why we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Uh, so I know every day people come in, uh, the teammates come in focused to go to work every day. So um, it's, it's, it's really something that we just have to get through. Michael, Coach Dykes a minute ago described the state of the team as having a real fragile confidence right now when, when things don't go right, hard to come back from. Can you talk about what your team's confidence level is right now? and especially the defense, given how tough a season it's been so far? Uh, we're still working hard every day. I mean, things don't go your way all the time, and we know that, and uh, we, we just put that beside us and, and keep moving forward and look at the bigger picture and try to make plays. Each time we step on the field, it's never in the back of our mind that oh, we're going to go out here and something bad going to happen. Uh, we, we work day in and day out to, to do the best, so uh, that's never a thought. On that play where you scored and it was called back, um, it seemed like the defense kind of had their first big statement play of the year. How how important is it for you guys to finally get something like that, a, a pick six or a fumble return for a touchdown to really get your confidence going and change a game? Uh, it was real big. Uh, I mean, you see what it did. The next possession we got on offense, even though they called it back, we scored. Uh, and when things happen like that for defense to get the ball and, and, and get these opportunities to get the offense to try to score again, uh, it's real big. Uh, I think the defense, we pride ourselves on trying to get turnovers and uh, if we continue to work hard, I think we would get more than, than just one. You guys good? Okay, thanks. Mike. All right, thank you.